In this video, we'll talk about forward stall parking. That's coming right up. Hey, it's Cheyenne from Zula Driving School, and let's get right into talking about forward stall parking. All right, forward stall parking. So just a side note, I never uh, forward stall park when I drive myself. And the reason is because when I, if I pull into a parking lot or parking stall, then that means I have to back out of a parking stall. And usually when I'm leaving a parking stall in reverse, there's also sorts of things happening behind me, you know, cars passing by in the parking lot. So nevertheless, I, I, I don't recommend this type of parking, although you see it probably 96% uh, of the time, but um, sometimes it is necessary to park uh, in the forward, forward stall position. Um, Sometimes there'll be signs saying you can't back into a parking stall in a in parking lot. So anyway, uh, enough about that. Let's say you are in a parking lot and you, first of all, you want to always treat parking lots if it's possible as two way streets. So stay on your side of the road. Um, if you want to park on the right hand side you should make sure that you're at least a car's width away from the endpoints of these stalls the further away you are from it if you're t turning into here the easier it will be so what you might see a lot of people do is they kind of around like this and then they go in alternatively sometimes you'll see people just pick the parking spot on the other side so that uh, it's easier they're, they're more lined up if you will to get in here but I want to show you essentially what you would do or how you would make that judgment call as to when to start turning that steering wheel to get into this parking stall for example so like I said you want to be about a car's width away and the first thing you would do is signal to the left as you're approaching and you will turn your steering wheel as you're moving when the front of your car has reached this line so you want to start turning into that stall when you're about here and the way you can tell where the front of your car is is let me draw you the car that's supposed to be a mirror You've got the other mirror here and you're driving like this and you're going to see these lines here. So when you see this line here, go under your mirror here, like so. Then you know that the front of your car is in line with it at the moment. So it's kind of a trick of the eye when you're, when you're here from where you're sitting this line is going to look like it's under this mirror and that's when you know okay i need to start turning the steering wheel and this part is a bit of an art because if you turn the steering wheel really rapidly and you're moving slowly then your car is going to tend to end up on this side but if you delay and, or turn the steering wheel slowly relative to your speed you're going to end up closer to this line. So you're going to practice and you're going to finally figure out where that sweet spot is where you're turning relative to your speed and you're going to end up in the center of this parking stall. That is kind of why uh, people prefer to you know go a little bit wide so they could kind of start easing their way into these stalls or the, like I said the further away you are from this particular stall that you want to forward stall into, um, the easier it's going to be to make that maneuver. Now, once you're into your stall and you're looking in the, to the front of your stall and you're seeing it, you're seeing the center of the stall, that's when you want to straighten out your wheel and you want to go forward until, just like I mentioned this line here, from where you're sitting, you're going to see this line 
or the continuation of this line here you're gonna see this line go under your mirror here it's a trick of the eye but that will tell you that the front of your car is perfectly here so i hope this video has been useful to you if you liked it feel free to comment like or subscribe to our videos on youtube and we also have an online video training course on our website at www.zula.ca where we actually show you footage of us performing a forward stall park so you can get a better idea of how this is done. Now it's one thing for me to draw this on a whiteboard, it's another for you to actually get into a car with a co-ed driver or a driving instructor and practice this for yourself. So be sure to uh, dedicate some time to practicing forward stall parking. We'll see you soon.